Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to help us get through these old, dreary, dark times of unrest. Well, friend, uh, over in the book of uh, 1 Peter, 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, beginning with verse number 3, listen to what the Word of God says here. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith and the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Well, glory to God. What a powerful three verses of Scripture. You know, as we begin to look at these three verses of Scripture, we can truly find encouragement in them. First of all, the writer says that we should bless God, and we should always bless God because he's always blessed us even when we didn't deserve it. And then he goes on to say we ought to bless him because of his abundant mercy. Friend, where would we be today without the mercy of God? And the scripture goes on to say that he's uh, begotten us to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Friend, because he resurrected, you and I, the ones of us who's trusted him as Lord and Savior, we will resurrect too. That is a lively hope. And friend, I don't know about you, but there's encouragement to be found in those precious words. The Bible says he's going to resurrect us to an incorruptible inheritance, one that is undefiled. And listen to this, hallelujah, one that fadeth not away, reserved for us in heaven. And then the verse that really, really speaks to my soul is this verse 5 who are kept by the power of God. You know, my friend, you and I are very blessed because God keeps us. He keeps us in the hollow of his hand. He keeps us in his heart. He keeps us in his mind. He loves us that much. Who are kept by the power of God uh, through faith and the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You know, when life ends for us, Friend, on this side of eternity, true life just begins. True life just begins. And uh, so, uh, friend, I want to encourage you today to trust God with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. And I will assure you that he'll help you get through these times. Times can be hard sometimes, but... uh, Hey, even when times are hard, we serve a God who is able to keep us no matter what. Think about that. Father, we thank you for your word today. And thank you for the encouragement we gain from it. And Lord, we pray that you would uh, bless the listener today to be encouraged. And as they are encouraged to encourage others, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Be encouraged and let God use you today to encourage someone else. Have a great day.